It's so important to have diverse backgrounds and perspectives sitting around council tables. These communities are filled with people of different ages and different backgrounds, different perspectives, different experiences. And to be able to look at your leadership and realize or actualize your own perspectives in some of these people, um, it gives you a little more confidence in the decisions that have been made. I'm Krista Howell. I'm the Minister of Municipal and Provincial Affairs since uh, April of 2021. I uh, landed in this role after a significant period of time in municipal politics and realized that I had a passion for this type of work and was thrilled when the opportunity came to make it something I could do on a regular basis. I first entered municipal politics in 2015. The opportunity came up as a result of a by-election. So uh, with a general concern for the swimming pool in my community, I thought that it was an excellent opportunity to have my say and uh, have my voice heard and voice my concerns in my community. I think being the first female mayor was a pivotal moment for the town of St. Anthony, given that we had so much female representative in important roles in our community over a number of years. And it seemed like finally uh, we realized that a woman's voice could be a leader in that community and we could sit at the, the front of the room and work together with the rest of council to make things happen for our community. I do understand that sometimes people may look at uh, a run for municipal politics as something that's unachievable or uh, too complicated or too complex or too much work for them. But I would encourage everybody to to put that aside and focus on how you can have an impact in your community. The, the bigger picture here is that you can make your mark, you can have your voice heard, uh, you can have a perspective, have a say in what happens in your communities. And uh, my experience was such that I was welcomed and I was able to have an influence and I could see how my efforts certainly did change the direction of things that were happening in our community. I think diversity and inclusion in local governance is something that we can't stress enough. Uh, we're moving into different times. Things that we did in the past might not be the best solutions and the best way forward now. And it's important that we remember what we've accomplished and how well we've done, but we also have to gauge new perspectives to move forward and to figure out how to do things differently. As we come upon the election here in the fall of 2021, I think we're looking for um, councils across the province of Newfoundland and Labrador that are reflective of their communities. We have such diversity in our communities. We have so many different perspectives that can be represented and we want councils that reflect that. We're looking for individuals with a variety of experiences, a variety of backgrounds, and those who may not traditionally have stepped forward in leadership roles such as this. You can make your mark. I encourage people to step forward, to realize that everybody has something unique to offer. And our communities are made up of so many diverse individuals. Everybody with something that matters to them. And if it matters to you, then it's likely that it matters to somebody else. And that's your opportunity to be a representative, to step forward and to face challenges head on.